We have three coins a turn now. We're going to have a really big Captain Yago, but he's going to get a ton of Gezeros value and has... There she is. I think he's got enough here. Gotta move that right this turn, right? Just gonna move it next turn. Well, let's see it, Yago. Today we're going to be playing a passive Flora deck. I know we just did a Syndicate deck recently with the Fallen Rayla deck, but someone mentioned passive Flora, and after thinking about it, I guess we haven't tried passive Flora in a long time, so I just want to give it a shot. And we're going to be playing Jackpot again. Like This deck's going to be fairly similar to the Fallen Rayla one, but instead of Poisons, we're going to be going with a lot more Engines. So, probably won't take too long to go through this. We're playing Jackpot, like I said, we got Tiger's Eye, playing Madame Serenity. She actually is fantastic here because... Summoning Seductresses and Passiflora Peaches. This goes really well with the whole Passiflora stuff, right? Like, we want to play a bunch of engines, and these are more engines. We've got Novigrad. We've got King of Beggars, again, for Madam Serenity. Got the Nyago as our finisher. World Decree and Flying Redadian for some consistency. Conjurer's Candle to use with Yago. We've got Adriano and the Mink. He's in here to give us another Seductress. And yeah, he just gives us more more seductresses. He's also tributing tributes, so he can get out King of Beggars out. We have Vitor and Olydia, another engine. We're playing double seductress now that we're playing more engines. We have the Fistic and Traffickers still. Uh, I really want to keep this package because the Traffickers are blind eyes, which can trigger our past floor. We have two even tied plunders just to make whatever. Raiders for thinning, tax collectors, and we're gonna swap this Sea Jackal here. I played a couple games with this deck already. And I've made the conclusion that we want to not play Sea Jackal and instead want to play. Where is. Um, where is. There. Uh, Street Urchins. Because we pull out a lot of our uh, blind eyes round one, right? Because usually round one you Madam Serenity out, and then he comes out of your deck. You lose a Seductress and a Peaches when you play the Serenity. So I think having an additional blind eye is better than the. Uh, Tide Cloak guy. But yeah, this is the deck. Nothing too crazy. Pretty similar to a lot of Jackpot stuff, but that's how Jackpot works to be fair. But that's what we're going with. Should be pretty fun. Like I said, I played a few games with this already, and I was surprised by how well it went, and that's why I wanted to do a video on it, in addition to just not having given Passive Floor a shot in a long time. So let's uh, just go do that. <laughs> a real quick summary this time. Good old slave. And he's going first. You'll love to see it. Our hands... Uh, okay, I guess. We don't have very much round one value, though. Go play Nova... Novagrad's gonna have to carry our round one, I think. Is this Torres? Torres could be really bad for us. V Torres is like Peaches and Seductress. We have to make sure we don't play Serenity unless she boosts herself. So, that's not good. This round's probably forfeit then. 
We do have the poisons, which we'll open with on him next. Not open with, I guess, then we'll play them. Of course, he has the veil, so we can't do that yet. Knees are drowning in shite, but the head's in the clouds. I guess we could try these to see if we can get the poison guy. That might be the play. That would give us a really strong potential with this stick. Best commodity in town, I swear it. Now we can fistic kill in one turn. Of course, he has the option to maybe copy our guy, but he doesn't have the coins to use its order. Okay, I guess we should have played around assassination. He might enslave that. We'll see. That's the one he wants to veil? That's weird. He must have a d diviner or something in his hand. He must have a purifier, otherwise it doesn't make sense. Just trying to get to his nine coins, I guess. How's you doing, business? Taking that poison off is huge. I'm amazed he didn't try and save the veil. Realistically, he probably just seizes our. If he's in trouble, he just leaders our Flying Redanian, then just assimilates the nine coins next round. And he gets two of them back. Can be filed within seven years. He might actually just seize the Tax Collector. It accomplished quite a bit for him. Get him his 90 coins for his flying Redanian. I think he doesn't have two Redanians, though. I don't think that helps him. We don't actually have any horde triggering. I'm gonna spend those. Make the gap a little bigger. I guess he could have a second Duchess. No, he played two Duchess Formants. He can't get rid of a. Oh, is he gonna Brathens and then poison us? Okay, sure. That's fine. We didn't commit very much this round. I don't think this will be useful right now, but how many coins are we at? We're like two coins, right? This is a nice hand. Play Candle in this order if he passes. This 
go in with Passiflora and spam out engines. Obviously, Stefan Scallon will be a problem. But we can go in. He has enslaved still. Hmm. Serenity is still online. We had to risk that last redraw there because we can't afford to not get her. But like, if we go Passiflora into Serenity, we'll get a ton of engines extremely fast. And then we go to this guy. This dies, but shielding it doesn't do anything because Attorney Joust. Oh, he's just going to play that one out of his hand and Caesar's. Oh, that might be GG, but uh, we'll see what we can do. We should have candled our first one there. I was kind of hoping Serenity would live. Let's see what we can do. Spawn Skellen's coming down, right? And just killing her? Not yet. Yeah, okay. Good old assimilate. Don't you love to see it? Supposed to play him there, but that's tilted. Do I enjoy it? He doesn't have the tribute for that. I guess he does. I thought he didn't have any coins. It was like the third game since the last patch where I thought they had zero coins and they had coins. Either I'm missing something or the UI changed. Let's figure it out. It probably had the coins, I just didn't see them. I guess they're over here. I mean, this does not play well into the Seductresses. Or Madam Serenity. He's at least getting the same number of points he is from this. Pretty sure we've got this. Very annoying game. Made me a little nervous at the end of there. But I'm pretty sure we're fine. Okay, we got him. Movement. Let's see this movement harmony. It's been a fair bit of that. Gold Shiro blowing everything up. <clears throat> Our hand is not looking so hot, though. Can't even. We have to keep the Redanian so we can play Serenity. No, well, it feels terrible. Like 
and he knows we have Redanian in our hand. Or we're not playing it. By the way, he is playing a 26 card deck, so um, that's weird. Definitely want that bonded online. Deals can be filed within seven years. You can't outvalue us with movement package. Do not qualify for child care tax relief. This is full on movement. Why the twenty six cards? That's what I don't get. The knees are drowning in shite, but the heads in the clouds. We want to play all of our blind eyes. Because of Passiflora. But I guess we'll play this next. No, we should go. We should even tide. Even tide's better, because we want to hold this for Passiflora. I think he will outpoint us. I guess we do need to commit this then. We just need all the engines we can get. Because he has such potential with his movements. Oh, so we're Golden Necker with 26 cards? It's weird. We need to find a poison off of this, I think. I guess we'll just take you. I only loot corpses. Except sometimes they're quite fresh. Put the poison on him, and hopefully he thinks we have the second one. Could Shiru, Shiru us. That puts in a lot of trouble. See, he's only committed bronzes thus far. Okay, that's not great for him. His hand must not be very good then. Or he thinks that we don't have anything left to play. How's you doing, business? We need him to fall for this bluff. Because other than this, we can't play anything. Unless we just go... Uh, Jackal and play the Redanian out of our hand. The game could, could, down, could come down to this bluff. Thank goodness he fell for that. Thank goodness. We have nothing if he doesn't fall for it. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to find blind eyes. Ah, uh, you two, you go back, you go back. Well, I don't wanna play round three against this. Because he's going to have so much engine potential and still his golden necker. But then again, we can't trigger Passiflora. So it's our only choice.
Here comes the Siri. Oh no, just squirrel. I, mean, I guess it doesn't have to be Golden Necker, but it is. So at least he didn't have his Siri yet. I believe we still have this. If we draw those two again, it's going to be really sad. We're missing Novigrad, though. Okay. It's unlikely we draw both of these in a row, so we do go for it. They might be playing Verification, so I think we go Novigrad into Passive Floor. Because that way we can use the order of the Novigrad to maybe trigger the Passive Floor. I meant to drop that melee. There's that one. So he's got everything he would want then. Can we test for Serpent Trap? Guess we should, right? Yeah, good thing we did that. I couldn't imagine what other trap he'd be playing. Are you fucking kidding me? Opponent disconnects. Can't be a real disconnect. I think he just outvalues us here, as annoying as that is. Looking for a blind eye. None of you are blind eyes. Oh, you're the best, though. Six back, right? Humans are scum. I prefer L. Ward. Waste a coin here. This should have been melee. I meant to drop it melee. I just let go of the mouse too fast. Okay. I think he just has more points than us. Oh, okay. At least doesn't have the duplicate on those. We look for a fee card. It's a good backup to King of Beggars. It's a gate in time. There he is. I didn't sheathe it till it was. Got a lot of points here. Don't 
Don't mind losing that one. I wonder what his last say is. Maybe it's Nivellin. Nivellin. That'd be funny. But I just move our guys. So I doubt it. Arcane Tome. I don't know. The fact he discarded his last card does give us a shot here. Yago is pretty insane. Yago does it. Amir Purina. Movement. Movement engines will be interesting. We drew a lot of these uh, cards we don't want in our hand, in our hand, didn't we? We can't even Serenity, because we've got two of these. To be fair, we don't have her anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The waters of Movement Harmony. Still upon my lips. That means he doesn't have... Dana or Saskia Commander in his hand. We could open Passiflora. Just try and take the round. So we have pressure and round control. I don't think it's worth it though. In this world, only two things are certain. We're just gonna be stuck playing his game plan. There's no opportunity for us to take control of this game, unless we throw this down, or not you, uh, the past floor, which won't be enough, I don't think, to contend with a Saskia commander. No Do we have a fee? Not really. Only Eventine. Yeah, I work for the police. Better than working for humans. That's a relatively big card there. Could do Raiders, we could go Viter. That's not what I was trying to do. Alright, well now we're playing Raiders. Misclicked there. Wasted a coin. Two coins. Can win the round if he goes for it here. 
We want to get our Flying Redanian out. So we'll get that out, and then we'll pass next turn. Like I said, though, we're stuck playing his game plan. Which means Shiru will be a huge threat at all points in the game. No Madam Serenity still, no Royal Decree. There's Decree. Okay, so this is good then. We got what we want then. It's the only key piece we're really missing. So we're gonna go long round three, are we? Um, this is pretty good then. This brings back Redanian. Okay, so we have Serenity. We've got both of her things in the deck still. Then we have King of Beggars. This looks good. This looks good. We are missing the fee, so I think actually we'll do Candle first. Otherwise we're gonna have some oper otherwise we're gonna have some problems with um, triggering or spending the coins before passive floor gives them to us. And candle helps us play around Shiru. Actually, is the Treasure Huntress worth it here? It might be. Hey -ho, ho -ho. It's a little greedy, but I think it can work. There's the poison. Here comes Shiru. We knew it was coming. Boom. Alright, well, we don't have to worry about him anymore. But it was a big Shiru. At least we got the second Seductress down before we did that. Let's play the third. Well, we should probably play her. Still getting that extra. St we are still getting that extra coin every turn, which is nice. This will trigger this for six coins, right? So you want to spend a few. We get six here, seven there, eight there. Got 
Gets us back to nine. Two coins a turn. You got a sea base swimming in them breaches. There's, There's the Gezros that we cannot kill. On decree, we're looking at probably tax collector. And then get three coins a turn now. We're gonna have a really big Captain Yago, but he's gonna get a ton of Gezros value and has there she is. I think he's got enough here. How many sweet bones could I get for a diamond? Pretty sure he's gonna win this with Gezros. Gonna move that right this turn, right? Just gonna move it next turn. Well, let's see it, Yago. So we go. How many coins do we leave ourselves at? We get one, two there. Now we just spend them all. Where's our pirate? There you are. I think he's got this, though. Actually, I guarantee he's got this. I'm just curious how much he's got it by. hit one less unit, maybe. But really, we just didn't get Madam Serenity round one, which is our whole game plan. Going up against Blaze of Glory. Probably Warriors. Hopefully it's not Raid Warriors, because they have a lot of control and we're playing an engine-based deck. So, um, hopefully that's not what it is. We're going first, which is really good. We love to go first here. We need access to our Madam Serenity, though. Did not get her, so that's awkward. And I don't think we have a fee card, so actually, it's not great. We're gonna have to use the. Uh, no, we're gonna try and get a fee card. Otherwise, we can't spend our coins here. It is raid warriors, isn't it? Of course it is. What else would it be? 
What else, indeed? Corporations are people too. We have to hold on to this, because otherwise we're never getting a fee card. We just need to put out engines, I think. Obviously also this. He might just be setting up to pass here, which is fine. We are wasting a lot of coins on Novigrad, which I don't like, but... Really need to hold on to that, I think. All right, now if we get our Madam Serenity, we'll be in a pretty decent spot. It'd be nice if we can get some coins before her, so that she can boost herself with the jackpot ability. I mean, we do need to draw her still. And I guess we're... At this point, we should just not count on getting her, even though we have her and a decree. If you want to know why, just watch the video I did on card draw. We should not expect to get her anymore, though. It's not going to happen. If we're not going to get her, where does that leave us? To leave us wanting to push here? Well, we're going to play Candle, right? This is the 9 and gets our Ordanian back. Our only control being poisons means we can't really deal with a tear. I think we'd want to go. I think we do pass a floor this round. None of you do anything. We'll give you the shield and give you a couple boosts because he's going to kill him otherwise and we do want to start getting coins back from Novigrad. Plus we need to get the, we're getting the coins from Passiflora next turn. We would like to kept the candle at two, so we can go two, three, four, then four, five on the Yago turn, but I think it might be worth more just to get this peaches bigger. Hey, there it is, everyone's favorite card. Give that one a shield too, why not? And go Vitor next. You can go for a kill in one of them. Let's, let's boost her up. She's pretty good. She'll get her ability off next turn. Fabi one kill? No, we're going for the second guy. Here, troll day kill.
Yep, there it is. Do that. So we'll get the King of Beggars off on Madame Serenity when we get her. If we get her. And the longer the game goes on, the better this gets for him. But right now, it's not ideal. He's gonna go for the kill on his leader now. Okay, we got him to leader. Something. It is something. Get our coin count back up. We really want him to drop the tier. The issue is we need a unit to be alive for Candle to hit or our Yago, which is going to be a really big problem in round three. So we might have to go for it here. That's what we're thinking right now. Premium grade won't find any We might have the Yago next turn. The thing is, it's got tier for the damage. All right, I think we go for the Yago. Zoom so points spreading out. Let's make her bigger, because the um, tier damage is blocked by her shield. Now it doesn't get blocked by her shield, which means it is worth reshielding her, I think. No, no other way to spend the coins anyway, unless we do this. Still have enough, right? So we just do this. He probably does it with tier, but then we don't have to worry about tier round three at least. Pretty all in here, but I think so is he. And there's always a chance he didn't have tier yet. He didn't tutor it with Blood Eagle. Oh, he does have it. Of course he does. So he gets the round. But I think we got rid of most of his threats, right? There's no Vabjorn. Or there's, there's not enough Vabjorn. There's no, um... Uh, King Brand, there's no tier, there's no leader. Caratrolda used its order. Blood Eagle did both of its things. Okay, we have access to Serenity. Please don't give me the peaches. Okay, we can do this. Although we might not have the coins. We have a tax collector. We can always not pay her tribute to. Did he play both of the Primal Savageries? He did not. We could be giving him points by playing a card then. 
But if we just don't play a card, then go decree into something, we don't get anything that good. So I think we do play the tax collector. Go into Serenity next. Yeah, so there's a, normally I would discard that card there, but we need to get the Serenity. We want to boost this up because it's going to be our only spender, most likely. It's going to kill it. It doesn't matter. And this could give us coins, and we're going to have a coin off of that. Alright, we take that guy out. So that is the deck, guys. I really enjoy Passiflora. And I really like that we can use it here, even if it is just an, a jackpot deck. Which, you know, jackpot's like Syndicate on easy mode. Because you don't really have coin management. So, <laughs> that's just my opinion. But yeah, if you're ever in trouble with Syndicate and find the coins hard to manage, jackpot's like the easy way to do it. Because you just like play Serenity and then stay at 9 coins for the rest of the game. And just, you know, use them for point boosting. But, it's still fun, right? Jack I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a bad leader, just saying. If you have trouble with Syndicate, maybe try a Jackpot. But yeah, so Jackpot, pretty good. Obviously, good deck. And Passiflora, how did it compare? So, I think Passiflora isn't bad. It has good synergy with the existing Jackpot, because you're already playing Serenity. You're already playing a Seductress and two Peaches, right? So that's in all the Jackpot decks. And you've got two Traffickers most of the time as well. So then you just have... To add a couple blind eyes, we just added in Mink. He might, like, to be honest, really miss having, uh, what's it, Freak Show? Really miss having Freak Show and the Heat Wave, which are what you'd usually have in here instead of, like, Passiflora. So you're missing out on control, but you get a lot of engines, which is fun, like spamming out Seductresses. Yeah, it's up to you guys if you like this or not. I had a lot of fun with Jackpot, specifically this deck. I like Passiflora more than the regular one, just because, you know, it's a little different. And <laughs> no one really expects it. And if people don't answer Passiflora, you can get a lot of engine value. Now, one card I do want to mention before we finish here is Igor the Hook. Where is he? There he is. So, Igor the Hook. This is how you spam out your Townsfolk in the Townsfolk decks. It's how you can spam out extra Seductresses in this deck. I considered running him. I really did consider running him over maybe something like the Flying Redanian, because we already have good consistency. But obviously, I love Flying Redanian. It's one of my favorite cards, so we couldn't just take it out. But you could play Igor the Hook. For five coins, he gives you back, it gives you another engine, right? You get another Seductress, you get another uh, Tax Selector, another Peaches, whatever. And he has Insanity. I really did think about him, but instead of playing him, I opted for a bit more consistency. He is an option, though, that you might want to go for. That's the big one I wanted to mention. And obviously, if you always want to, there's always been C. It's not been C. That's not been C either. There she is. It's always been C. But, uh, yeah, that's what we went with. The only thing I would really say is you could fit in, instead of Redanian, a 9 version of your choice. So, like, Igor, uh, Sausage Maker, if you want to be really spicy. I thought about trying him out in this deck. Something like that. And the other slot is this for provision one down here where we have the urchins. We had a sea jackal prior to making this video. And another card to consider is Salamandra. What's it called? Oh, this one, Lackey for the Purify. Those are the three cards I'd consider there. They're all pretty good. And it just comes down to which one you like the best. I think we might go Lackey. Although, the street urchins I do like. But anyway, guys, that's the deck. A lot of fun. I actually had a lot of fun with this. My favorite Syndicate deck of Inclusion so far. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. That'll be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And you can check out some more videos over here. And thanks for watching.